<sighs> All right. Right. So, what's the point of sparring? What's the point of sparring? See, it depends. Where I know there's two types of sparring: technical sparring and just kind of like a, you know, hard sparring. No. If you're told to do tactical sparring and you don't, so you, you, so let's say you've got boxer one, boxer two. Let's say you're boxer two, right? And boxer two is meant to be just kind of like defending, slipping shots and stuff. And in boxer one, you know, your teammate or whatever, he's meant to be kind of like you know on the attack and stuff. And you're meant to be just kind of like trying to like dodge, is it like punches and stuff, right? No, in tactical sparring, are you meant to be throwing haymakers? Or just hard punches in general. Uh, I mean, not the way I was taught. That's all I need. Like in technical sport and stuff, right? You're meant to be learning, right? Learning. How do you like? Uh, how do you like deal with pressure? How do you like move and stuff like that? You know? Right. No. If one of the people, let's say, you know, boxer one who's on the attack, he's like, as if he was doing, he doesn't like to be fucking like speed bagging it. Just like on you. Now, how the fuck are you meant to counter that? Let's say in my case, I'm quite a big fella, as you know, so like, I'm 95 kilos, 6'2", and you know that. So if I'm sparring, let's say a smaller guy, let's say 5'10", 5'11", or something like that, right? And he's like, let's say 60, 70 something kg, something like that, you know? And he just goes, Barrr! just fucking swarm you with a barrage of punches. Well, that's fine, because you learned something new by dealing with it. It? But if they're going to say like, me and you barrage of punches and stuff, if they do, as I said, you get called by a few, that's fine, it's boring. But if they go hard, you get dazed, it's a lot fucking harder to learn. So I'd, I'd like to concern myself that, especially considering I'm a heavyweight. No, again, about me being a heavyweight, I do plan to go down to 90 kgs. I've been working on it for like about the past while, before Christmas or something like that. I managed to go down to like 93 kgs. So, get in there, I guess. But, you know, Christmas, you're marking up like stuff a wee bit. You know, Christmas dinners and all that. And I'm like, uh, you know. So, I put on a wee bit of weight, 95 kgs again. Again, I need to go down to like 90. So, that, you know, I'm a cruiser weight. But, again, in technical sparring and stuff like that, you're not meant to fucking hit hard. But chances are, you're probably gonna catch them. Especially considering they can't encounter you whenever they're told not to. Now, if I'm being like swung by a bride of conches, okay, what I do is stick my arm out and just go wide as I catch him. I'm a heavyweight, heavyweight boxing. All it takes is like really one punch. And De Deontay Wilder is like a good representation of this. Like, he may be getting oil boxed throughout the fight. Let's say the Luis or let's say the Luis or his rematch incidents. He was getting oil boxed for the fight, right? That's a decent jam at that, but you're still getting oil boxed. And then suddenly, oh, there's an opening. Big right hand. And, you know, he wins. But again, as I said, technical but technical sparring and stuff isn't meant to be hard, because, you know, as I said with like my weed thing, I guess, you know, I had to be like, you know, dodging and stuff. And I'm being swung by punches. Okay, it's fine. You learn from it. You know, you learn how to you know, you adapt. But you're probably gonna get caught, especially if you're like a kind of like new, I guess. Um, but you know, if you get caught, they don't hit you that hard. Okay, it's fine. Just gonna like move on. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn from it. But if you get hit and you get dazed all the time, it's really fucking hard. So it's 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 somewhat annoying and it's also a bit of a nuisance because you, it, it, as I said, it's hard to learn like that. And you're on the same team and stuff as well. So like, but yeah, in a, no, in hard sparring, are you told to, like, you know, just kind of like, let's say 90% or something, like 80, so you could, like, you know, hit hard, but like still not like, you know, hit hard, but like, you know, not that, like, you know, get what I'm saying? In that case, right, okay, you can hit a bit harder, cause in hard sparring, the whole purpose of it, it, the whole purpose of it, is basically to get bow hardened, right? Hard sparring, technical sparring. They both serve their purpose, but technical sparring and that, you're not meant to hit hard, okay? It's just a nuisance, but again, if you don't do boxing, then it's, it's probably irrelevant to you, but yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, in technical sparring, you're not meant to hit hard. It wasn't obvious enough. And drum roll, I made a fourth channel.
I got one video up by said recently, and I do, you know, play quite a few games, and, you know, I don't really feel like it's that appropriate to this channel, since so this channel, you know, my main channel kind of became a vlog channel, but if you're interested in gaming, let's say in games such as Brawlhalla, maybe a bit of COD, Minecraft maybe, Terraria, Fortnite, maybe a bit of chess, whatever, <laughs> you know, feel free to check out my fourth channel, the Insane Bull Gaming, I might change that, because it's not like the greatest name ever, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave a link in the description to all these blue and stuff, and if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, on my Instagram, I post all my photography and stuff, and let's say I do some training, I kind of like put, do a wee post there, and uh, let's say if I do like any like filmmaking stuff, or like announcements, I'll also probably do a few on my Instagram. Now on Twitter, I would probably just kind of like post a lot of the things I find interesting, and also have like, you know, have conversations with people, and you know, stuff like that, I guess. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed the video, then please like, share, and subscribe, and turn notifications so you so that you don't miss out my upcoming content. And I hope you enjoyed, as I said. Well, that's it. All the best. Peace.